Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are taking a look at yet another NECA figure, and that is NECA Kaiju Knifehead. Now at the time of this recording, this is the only Kaiju that NECA has released, and I believe this guy is going to be in the movie, so I'm... If you haven't guessed, I'm really stoked for this movie. Giant robots? Kaiju? Kaiju means giant monster in Japanese, by the way. I mean, I'm just totally stoked, but this guy's box is massive compared to the other two. So here's the back of the box, and uh, well, let me show you. I'll show you here what the other boxes look like compared to knife heads. To give you guys an idea on the thickness, we've got Gypsy Danger up top, in the middle is Crimson Typhoon, and in the bottom is Knife Head. So I'll turn it to the side so you guys can get a better look. As you can see, <laughs> There is a little bit of a difference in the size of the packaging. Out of the box knife head is something interesting to behold. He is a very unique figure with a few minor issues. Overall though, the figure is just staggeringly ugly. Which makes sense considering these kaiju are supposed to be just these giant monsters that are more for wrecking and less for better for being better looking. Up close knife head's head is pretty cool. It looks like a combination between a hammerhead shark and a, uh, a sawtooth shark. It's very well detailed and just really nifty. As you can see, he has his uh, nose up here at the top for when he is uh, just going through the water. And then underneath, well, this, this is just pretty badass looking. I mean, he's got three eyes. One eye right where my finger is, you can barely see it and then two, eye, two extra eyes out here on the side. Just an overall really menacing look. His mouth does open a bit so he can roar at you, but he can't really close his mouth. Though, man, these teeth just, I would not want to be on the receiving end of those chompers. Knifehead is actually pretty poseable, though there are some issues given just the overall design. Like I said, his mouth does open. Unfortunately, his head does not move, and the seam for his head is very visible and kind of ugly, to be honest. Arms, or his outer arms, I should say, are on swivels, so they can move like that, and he can kind of do a, I give up! Then he's got elbow articulation, no finger articulation, unfortunately. The connected arms don't move at all, unfortunately. I would love it if these arms could move, but no, they're kind of stuck in doing like poor ass jazz hands. Legs are on swivels, though they are very limited. And then there are hinges here at the knees, no ankle articulation, which I'm actually okay with given how heavy this figure is. I mean, this guy is not light. Finally, his tail. It's not segmented, but there is a wire inside the tail, so you can point it straight, loop it, turn it, stick it up between his legs, do what you can the best way you can to make it out straight. Just a very wise idea, though I'm really concerned about this plastic breaking or shattering at some point. Just personal worry of mine. Again, the seam here is very visible, easy to be seen, and that's because of the different plastics. You have the soft, rubbery plastic versus this much, much harder plastic, and it's pretty easy to see. They did a decent job of the, with the paint, but it is still very easy to see. The tail itself, though, very good looking. I really do like it. You can kind of do a swimming pose with Knife Head, though I wish the head was more poseable, so you could actually have him looking straight as some of the media that we have seen has him posed. That would be very, very cool, and I would like that a lot, but unfortunately you can't do that. Overall, Knife Head is pretty cool. There are a few problems with it, which I have outlined, but overall, I do like it. I think he is nifty, and as the first Kaju that I've seen from the movie, I'm really excited to see more. I'm really interested for getting more of these guys. Because, well, let's face it, we don't have enough giant monsters in our lives. And we really do need more. So guys, I hope you enjoy this look at Knife Head from NECA. And I'm going to recommend that you go out and get it. Yeah, there are a few minor issues with the posability and some of the paint apps and some of the plastic is a little weird. But I can really overlook all of that because, well, let's face it. 
He's just pretty damn cool, if I have to be honest. Wonder Robo Powers activate! Form of Optimus Prime! Form of a Kaiju Adjustment Tool! It's time to save the world! Right, that wasn't in the script. Ow!